Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Quan Image Edit Plus with the new custom workflow that allows you to edit your images based on masking technique and it will use the Quan Image Edit Plus Nunchaku version alongside with the new Lightning Lora in order to edit your images based on a specific area that we selected. And with this method, you will edit your images with more instinctive and uh, easy way. In addition to that, we will also test the new F sampler that was released recently and it claims to be 20% more faster compared to the old previous key sampler. So without further ado, let's dive into tutorial. Okay, before we start it, you need to install the Nunchaku version of Comfy UI. I saw that a lot of you are struggling with this uh, Nunchaku version uh, of Comfy UI. So to do that, you can watch my previous tutorial. I will put the link under my description and it is a very easy way to install it otherwise you can just download this version here of comfy ui and it has all those included nodes here then just go to your comfy ui root folder extract it open up this comfy ui easy install and it will start installing once it is finished you can just go to this comfy ui easy install folder enter add-on and you can see here the sage attention and the nunchaku make sure to install those add-on by only opening this uh, file here it will uh, automatically uh, do everything for you once it is done just open up your comfy ui and with your new comfy ui version open up a new tab here and search for nunchaku installer this note is dedicated to install uh, or update uh, the Nunchaku notes and it will include every uh, update uh, that is released. I think according to my experience, it is the best way to install the Nunchaku version notes of the Quen uh, model. So all you have to do here is add the show text in order to see the details of your installation and click run. It will uh, of course install everything for you and uh, it will depends on your internet connection. So once it is done, make sure to update Comfy UI, update all if it is necessary and restart your Comfy UI. Good, now that you have everything, make sure to use this link in order to download the Nunchaku version of uh, our Quen Image Edit Plus. Right now I am using this uh, NT4R32 Quen version with 4 steps LoRa. And when I was recording my tutorial, a new lightning uh, LoRa came up with the, for the Quen Image Edit Plus. As you can see here, we have the four steps and the eight steps, BF16 and FP32 version. So for this tutorial, I will use this BF16 V1 version for the Quen Image Edit. The main difference between uh, this LoRa and the previous one, that it is uh, more uh, compatible with uh, our uh, Quen Image Edit Plus model. And once you have everything, make sure to place every model under the necessary file. For the LoRa model, place it under the LoRa model. And for the Nunchaku version of this model, place it under the unit folder. You will also need to install the grounding Dino, some notes. But don't worry, if you if you don't have this installed, it will have uh, some red box around it. And the best way to fix that is by going to, into the manager and clicking install missing custom notes. This way it will install everything for you without bothering too much. Okay, now let's talk about the workflow. It is practically uh, the same workflow that we used to use for the Quen Image Edit, at the exception of the masking subgroup here. I add this grounding Dino masking which automatically segment our images according to a prompt. So this way it will be more easy for you to mask some part of your image. And we also need this embed crop in order to use our masking editing. But the first step is to load your model. Of course, you can use the diffusion version of our Coin Image Edit Plus, but if you have a low VRAM like uh, mine, you can directly use the Nunchaku version which is more faster and more uh, optimized for a low graphic card PC. Then we have here our LoRa model loader. Make sure to select the new LoRa that we download. As for the clip and the VAE, it is automatically selected here. And I think you are used to those uh, models right now. So for the step two is uh, gonna be focusing on loading your input images. And here you can see that we have two main images, the target image, the ones that we want to add to the, our new image and the reference image. For example, here I am choosing this lady and I want to do some hair color change. All I need to do is load my hair image in order to extract uh, the color of this uh, target image 
and here you can see that I have my reference image so to do the masking all I need to do here is going to the step 3 where I have the prompting section and it is the main core of this workflow so let's first start with the prompting positive uh, section and all I need to do is type in change the hair color without any without adding any other details or the color details for the negative prompt leave it as it is and here we have the masking prompt let me just change this masking prompt so what I want to do is masking the hair over of this lady uh, in the reference image so make sure to type in hair and what we will do is this prompt, masking prompt is directly connected to our grounding Dino sum nodes and it will use those models in order to uh, analyze our image, detect the hair uh, part of this image and it will create a mask based on this image. This mask is going to be used next uh, with this impaint crop in order to change the hair color and edit our image without uh, changing the image too much so it is very useful uh, technique if you don't want to do some uh, changes uh, over your images then we have here the sampling steps where uh, this in-paint model conditioning is used because it will need the positive and negative prompt the VAE for encoding our data the image that uh, we need and you can see here it is set to pixel and this image comes directly from this in-paint crop so it is a very important note for this workflow and the mask created using this grounding Dino notes here okay once it is done this uh, in-paint model conditioning is gonna force our key sampler to only work on the masked area without uh, changing the other details of the image and as usual we are using the 8 steps since we have uh, this 8 step ROA the CFG is set to 1 I also added this F sampler here, which is set to be 20% uh, more faster compared to our classic key sampler. And to install these nodes, it is very simple. All you have to do here is use the link under my description. Just click copy, go to your ConfUI root folder, search for custom nodes. Here, type in on the search bar CMD, and you will have this window. Make sure to type in git clone and paste your code here. Click enter and it will install everything automatically for you. Make sure to restart your Conf UI and if you type in here F simpler, you will see that we have the two version, the advanced uh, version and the simple one version. So it's up to you now to use which version suits you the best. Okay, once it is done, it will uh, decode our data and save our images here. On the results uh, group, we have the uh, results provided by the classic key sampler the preview of the mask in order to see uh, if the, the grounding notes successfully created your mask and the f sampler version so for this example i will click run and see how it works but if you are looking for more details about case uh, this f sampler you can find every necessary details on the this subreddit page here and uh, it uh, and we have some explanation here about uh, how this F sampler is working. From what I understand, it is based on extrapolating of the noise epsilon value from uh, our model. And in, uh, and how it is working is by instead of calling your model every steps, it will predict the no the necessary notes for your uh, model in order to create your image. So using this uh, extrapolation technique, uh, they managed to get uh, 20 or 16% uh, boost without any other training so i only tested for this quen image editing and i will try to test it for one videos or image generation using uh, every known model that we used to work with okay now let's click run and see the results of our uh, masking uh, editing using this quen model okay we have our first results here and as you can see for the classic key sampler version we have uh, our image which was edited perfectly the hair color changed according to our uh, needs and we did not uh, specifically add the color of the hair in the prompt section so it is uh, instinctively understanding what we want without uh, doing any other uh, steps or uh, prompting however for the f sampler version it did not uh, successfully create our editing images all it did is uh, adding this uh, reference image here 
and for the generated time the key sampler was uh, much faster compared to the f sampler for this task so i will try to do more edit to our image and we will uh, compare it uh, again uh, with the different key sampler i will try to add another color here and let's click run okay we have our second results as you can see here so we also changed the hair color of this created image for uh, the classic key sampler however for the f sampler it managed to create uh, an image but it add more hair we can also notice the main difference in the cropping uh, results here as you can see the f sampler doesn't zoom out too much compared to the classic key sampler so uh, i think uh, this one uh, could be uh, better with uh, some uh, tweaking uh, parameters here as for the generated time it is uh, taking too much time for the f sampler compared to the key sampler so for now we don't know how uh, so for, for now we are uh, holding to the key sampler for the results as for the zoom in problem i will try to fix that later on and post a new workflow for this uh, problem the next use case that i want to try is the close changing with the, this workflow so all i need to do is add a new image here we have this image of this shirt and let's change the masking prompt to shirt and also the prompting section here i will add the new prompt which is change the shirt of the woman so let's click run and see the results again okay we have our results now as you can see for the classic sampler it successfully changed the shirt of the lady at the exception of the hand here and this time it doesn't uh, zoom in uh, too much compared to the previous test however for the f sampler it successfully changed the uh, shirt of the lady but it also changes the background which is not what we ask it and i think the main reason behind this is the mask that we created here using this grounding uh, the dino so, and also we need to add some uh, uh, words here in the prompting section where uh, for example here we can ask for change uh, the masked shirt of the woman while keeping details as for the masking here you can also try other technique like uh, masking manually to do that all you need to do is add in here our reference image use the right click and click open in mask editor and you can mask manually here the, the shirt of the lady you can also use the sam detector function using this dot point and when it is done make sure to click save notes then in order for the prompt to use this uh, masking all you have to do is plug the mask into the impaint crop and it will use this new created mask instead of, of the grounding dino okay let's try now to fix our issues uh, regarding the zoom in and the f sampler boost speed so the first thing that you need to do here is go to this uh, f sampler then search for the skip mode and select adaptive as for the verbos here make sure that it is set to true here we have our mask created uh, using the sound detector points i also connected it to this growth mask and before doing any masking make sure that your resolution is equal to this first uh, image uh, provided by the scale image to pixel as you can see here this resolution is quite different from this one as for the masking image i am using the same resolution as this uh, scale to image uh, process good once it is done i click run and it gives me this results for the classic sampler as you can see it did not change the clothing uh, as perfect as it should be and we still have uh, some part of the white shirt uh, clothes here however for the f sampler it perfectly created the t-shirt on this layer and in addition to that the generated time was significantly improved thanks to this skip mode and the verbose enabled you can see here the main difference in the generated time and the f sampler uh, really boosts up uh, our uh, workflow here so it is a very good thing uh, to use this f sampler i'm gonna do another test using this image all you need to do here is copy and paste i will try to add a necklace to this lady by typing woman wearing necklace then i will uh, use the masking the all the masking way using this mask over here i will remove that we'll also bypass this then now let's click q prompt and see the results together okay we have the results now as you can see the first one did, did not go well so i was forced to change the prompt here by by typing add necklace to woman neck and the results was quite uh, impressive 
here for the classic key sampler it successfully add the necklace and it also add uh, something here around the wrist as for the f sampler it only added a necklace here then lastly i wanted to change the hair color of the this image and as you can see the classic key sampler did not uh, change the the image uh, very well for the f sampler it created a new image based on this uh, hair color and to make a good comparison i add here this image compare in order to compare between the two images and you can clearly see the difference between the first image and the edited image i also did some uh, tests using this image of a car and uh, i wanted to change the color all i needed to do is add a new image of a car with different color this is the first results that i get using this image as a reference uh, color then I did another test and I get this image. We can assume uh, right now that using this uh, workflow, it allows you to edit your images based on masking. And the best way to do that is using the F sampler, the good masking uh, with the grounding Dino or either the manual uh, masking. But also you need to use the right prompt in order to get the good results. This workflow is also optimized for a low VRAM graphic card. So you will not uh, find any difficulties to run it uh, smoothly. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, please push the like button for me. Subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to become a Patreon member of my Patreon page where you can get early access to my workflow and ask me for additional help. So thank you.